to do what we do, you can't be afraid of the unknown. In fact, you actually have to be attracted to the unknown. This is the largest biotechnology campus in the world right here. More work goes on here, work that ultimately leads to the saving of patients' lives than any place in the world. I'm a chemist by training, but I really think of myself as a drug discoverer. Maybe I'm biased, but this is the best place to do drug discovery in the world. Some of the iconic cultural attributes of Genentech are its focus on patients, to help patients in need. The focus on science is unique. Scientists having autonomy to choose uh, the, the types of experiments that they want to run. You can do something at a very intense level and still have fun doing it. Not only do we encourage people to publish, we um, require if they want to be promoted to, to publish. And so visibility as a scientist, both internally and externally, is an incredibly important part of, of the growth of a scientist's career within Genentech. In the pharmaceutical industry, innovation is life or death. If you are not innovative, you will not be in this business for very long. We reward creativity, we reward independent thought, we reward complex problem solving. All of those are component parts of innovation. And the postdoc program that we have is a part of that. It is one of the ways we can increase the likelihood um, that something innovative will happen. Genentech has a, a, a long-standing and well-founded reputation of developing transformative medicines. In fact, we have more breakthrough designations since the concept was invented by the FDA than any other company. Now clearly, in my role, we want to not only maintain but build on that string of successes. We want to hire the best scientists, we want to develop them, we want them to feel fulfilled in their work. We want them to be happy to be a part of a team trying to solve a difficult problem and we want them to be persistent um, and willing to stick with problems until they're solved. The world is a different place than it was 30 years ago and the competition for people, for certainly highly trained, high quality scientists is very competitive. And, and one of the things that, that we are working on, myself and my leadership team, is how do we, in this contemporary world, now compete for and then ultimately retain uh, scientists throughout the course of their entire careers. I think this is an incredibly exciting time in terms of how medicine is, is ultimately going to be practiced in the future. So we in the research organization, we live in the future. We live 10 years from now we get to ultimately work on solving some of the hardest biomedical problems in the history of mankind. And actually, and this is in some respects the exciting part, we have a chance of solving them.